Hi class, this is a sound pressure level meter. And a sound pressure level meter is a professional grade level meter, also known as a decibel or dB meter. And it's used for measuring sound pressure levels in an acoustic environment. This Radio Shack sound pressure level meter is fairly consistent and accurate, especially when measuring the mid range. It maxes out at 125 dB. The SPL level meter has a built in microphone. The sound pressure level meter also has a range dial. It is a rotary dial that allows you to select one of the seven ranges centered at 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 dB, and 120 dB. It can also display the max and min and the average SPL of the sample. It also has two switches for changing the meter's frequencies, responses through the waiting button. Button A makes it more sensitive to frequencies in the 500 to 10,000 hertz range. And the option C makes it more or less uniformly over responsive the frequency of range from 32 to 10,000 hertz. The response button also allows for changing the speed of the meter's response from slow to fast. Slow response setting will make it less sensitive to rapid changes. The SVL meter also has a fast selection, which is more useful when peak sound levels are being measured, since in this mode, the meter will respond to very rapid changes. Also has an output, which is an analog line output to connect it to the stereo system or a computer. Now we are going to demonstrate the use of the SPL meter during the sustained phonation of the vowel AH. Notice I have added a straw to keep the distance from the microphone to the mouth equal and consistent. You turn the dB SPL meter on <laughs> and I have put it at the range of 80 decibels. The weighting is on weighting C which is the recommended weighting for the use of the Radio Shack sound level meter and the response is fast. So now I'm going to hold the SPL meter up to the mouth and she will sustain the vowel AH for three to four seconds. Ah. And the sound level, level meter read 90 decibels. And that is how we use the sound pressure level meter. Now we are going to show you the parts for the CSL model 4500. Starting at the top, the medical grade power supply. Next we have the calibrated input for real world amplitude measures. Next we have the DC coupling for low frequency signals, CSL 4500 only. And the bottom dial is the convenient control of input and output levels. Over on the left, we have the XLR microphone inputs for superior noise suppression. The next plug is the output to a professional level speaker for high fidelity playback. And the last plug is the stereo headphone output. We will now demonstrate the use of the CSL MDVP. Step one, turn computer and monitor on. Step two, turn on the CSL hardware to the right of the monitor by pressing the power button on the CSL tower and turn the knob on the tan box to the left of the monitor to CSL EGG.
Now click on the CSL model 4500 icon on the desktop. A window with different program options will pop up on the screen. Click on MDVP. This will take you to a screen with many blank windows. Click on the top window on the upper left of the screen. Now you're ready to record. Start recording. Click the red button located at the top right of the screen. Speak AH into the microphone for at least three consecutive seconds. For most accurate results, your mouth should be five centimeters away from the microphone. Notice we have added the straw for accurate measurement. Keep your finger on or near the spacebar on the keyboard to stop recording once an adequate sample is collected. A record of your voice should appear in two boxes at the top of the screen. Play back the sample to check for accuracy and consistency by clicking on the green play button located on the top right of the screen next to the red record button. Now you are ready to analyze your data. Click the All icon at the midpoint of the toolbar at the top of the screen. The six windows on your screen that were once empty should now be filled with diagrams and various waveforms as pictured below. These windows consist of the multidimensional voice diagram, amplitude histogram, fundamental frequency histogram, amplitude moderation, average, average spectrum, and fundamental frequency and peak-to-peak -peak amplitude. Click on the button immediately left of the record button, MDVP Report Multidimensional Voice Program, and then click on the MDVP Report Parameters button located at the top of the screen to the left of the red record button. A window of the MDVP report parameters will pop up. Make sure the gender of your client is correctly identified on this screen. If you skip this step, your results may be skewed. This window contains your client's voice sample results compared to norms. You can now save or print the results for you and your client's records.